Okay, so let's talk about Hikey Vision NVR and Axis cameras. Here I have the NVR with two cameras, the Axis P1365 Mark II and the P3225-V Mark II. They are working here on my NVR. And I have more cameras. Let me show here on the computer. So here I have the web browser with the cameras, P1365 Mark II. It's here, here's the IP. And then I have a Node camera, the Axis 223M, pretty old one. The P3225-V Mark II, also via web browser. And finally, the PTZ P6524-E Mark II. Okay, all of them working, different cameras, with different version of firmware, different menu. As you can see here, this menu is different from this one. If I come here to setup, as you can see, that's pretty different from this one. See, the menu is here on the bottom, and here is in, on this side, and on the left side, they are different, all right? So let me try to add this camera here, also to my NVR. So back here to the NVR, right click, menu. Okay, let me just uh, log into the NVR and come here to camera. As you can see, there's the status that shows this play button. That means it's working. And there's also this one, okay? If I click here, I can see the live video. So this is an access camera that's working. This also is working, the second one. And this one is not working. I know because there is a different icon here. When I click it, it says the network is unreachable. And this one says IP camera does not exist. So you also have, you always have here the information about what's wrong, okay? So I'm connecting all of the cameras to a switch and the switch is connecting to the LAN port of my NVR, okay? They're not directly connected to the PoE ports. The switch has four PoE ports. The cameras are not connected to them. They're connected via an external switch, all right? So the camera can find, uh, the NVR can find the cameras, but what I have to do here, it, it's come to the four first channels and change what I have here, right? To meet the cameras that I have. Let's say here, for example, I'm gonna change this one because as you can see here, it's not working, right? There's a message here and here, I'm gonna edit this one and insert the IP of my camera. And here I could use access protocol. I have a lot of protocol here, but uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Let me try access for example here. Here's the root user to connect to the camera and the password. Okay, let me type again. And here we go. So I'm trying to use the root, the root and the password. Wait for connection. So then if I start, starts communicating with the camera and tries to authenticate and says connecting, okay? Why did I notice here for this camera, it keeps the way connecting forever and never works for some reason. And after some time, like a long time, it gives me an error here, okay? So what I have to do is then Instead of using the Axis protocol, I'm going to use OnVIF protocol. You see the other cameras are working with OnVIF. I'm going to do the same here. So let me just change this to OnVIF. Here we go. And then I can use a different username. And be careful because now it's asking for the OnVIF user that I have on the Axis camera, not the regular user that I use to log into the camera. It's not the root user. It's another user. In this case, I'm using admin. And let me just type here the password. Hit OK. And wait for the connection. Wait for a while. And see what happens. Still trying to communicate with the camera. Usually it takes a while, especially using OnVIF. Here we go, almost there. And we have here the username or the password is wrong, okay? So we need to fix that. 
I know what's going on here. I want to come here to the camera. Here we go. Here's the IP. You need to go to Onviv and create the user. I'm trying to you to connect to a user that doesn't exist, right? To connect to the camera and, and use a user that doesn't exist. So I come here. I'm just make it bigger and add a new user here. Oh, here we go. Make it bigger, username. Let me use here admin and the password. Confirm the password. I can select the user group here, media operator or administrator. Media user works fine. So let me just hit OK. And now I have the user. OK. Coming back to the NVR, let me try again here. Uh, Onviv, cameras IP, admin as a user, and the password. Just attempt password for testing. OK. Here we go. Let's see if it works. Wait for a while. And again, I have another error. Click here. The username of the password is wrong. OK, I know what's going on. I'm sure the username and the password is correct because I just created there. But it's a little bit tricky here. It is not like sending the new information. It's not trying to, to connect it again as supposed to connect. So let me just put any number here. Then I'm like uh, pretending that I'm connect, trying to connect to another camera. Any password will work because I'm just pretending that I'm connecting to the to a different camera. So I give an, an error here and then I can come back and try again with 65. That's the correct IP, username and password. Here we go. Let's try again. You see how tricky it is. You need to remember to create a password and also you need to pretend that you're using a different camera here just to get rid of the error. Now it's trying to connect to the correct IP and username. And now no enough network bandwidth. Now it's different. The username and password is correct, but the error here is different. When you see this on OnViv, uh, on HikeVision, if you're trying to connect that OnViv camera, Axis camera, you need to go to the Axis camera and change the profile. So here again, I created a user and have profiles for Onviv. Okay, again, a little bit tricky. Here have the first profile. I'm gonna modify it. Here we go. And let me just open a little bit more here. That's the one that I wanna change. Edit configuration here. And I need to look for this information here about the bit rate. You see this big number here? I'm gonna change it to 4026. That means four megabits per second. That's enough. Okay. The the big number here was like making the camera believe that it has to use uh, then if believe that it has to use a lot of bandwidth. That's why I got the er error there. No enough bandwidth. So Pretty much here, I'm changing it. Save the configuration. Okay. Save profile. Back to the NVR. So here, let me try again. Same thing, just to pretend that I'm connected to a different camera. It's a little bit tricky, but I have to do this every time. Now again. Here we go. It is what it is, guys. I have to do this. Now, again, correct IP address, username and password. And let's try one more time. Connecting again. So wait, wait a little bit. And here you go. We got the connection. So it's working, okay? So back here to the main screen and you see our camera working here. You see, 
a lot of details you have to take on in consideration and also those tricky parts. Pretend they're connected to another camera so you can uh, come back and ask the NVR to try to connect to the camera again, all right? So it's a little bit tricky, but it works.